Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about one of the pre-processing options that you can find in the Zabbix starting from version 4.2 if I'm not wrong. Uh, double check in the documentation or you can just check in the pre-processing tab uh, of your items. And uh, the type of the pre-processing for today will be the throttling and the throttling is highly effective in those cases when you have to do the high frequency monitoring. And uh, first of all, let's think like what does high frequency monitoring means in terms of the Zabbix. Um, you know that in all of our items we have to set update interval, right? Like uh, doesn't matter on the host uh, or on the pro or on the t in the template we are creating an item we need to define update interval and the smallest update interval in the Zabbix for the regular items is one second is one second considered as a high frequency well depends like if we want to monitor all of our items including like memory usage uh, network bandwidth cpu load once per second then yes most likely globally this will be considered as uh, high frequency monitoring but uh, from other perspective like not really because if we would talk about some sort of uh, industrial equipment or telemetry data then most likely we want to get a data even uh, more often than once per second so we would be talking about uh, about a millisecond Despite the fact that, uh, as I told you, in the items itself, the minimal update interval is one second, there are still uh, ways how we can actually descend uh, data in milliseconds. And uh, the easiest way how we can do that is by using a Zabbix sender. So Zabbix sender, a small utility, I have it. Uh... Yes, I do. So a small utility to send a values to your Zabbix server or the proxy, it doesn't matter. So uh, before the sending, this value actually should be gathered. Um, we'll have a small example a bit later. So the problem with a high frequency monitoring is uh, I will draw um, something in the paint. So let's, hey, let's say we have a uh, server right and then we have all our uh, data sources which will be like uh, very very many of those and let's say in each of those we have some items where we need to measure data every uh, 10 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds whatever um, in terms of the Zabbix server we always think about a performance right and uh, it's very simple the more data we have um, the more performance issues there will be and more tuning we'll have to do and more powerful hardware we'll have to buy for our Zabbix server. But what can be the data like? Um, let's say if we grab a data from this host and we are monitoring it like every some sort of milliseconds. Data can be like one, five, seven, three. 89 whatever right uh, and so on so on so on in this case it really makes sense to collect every this data every like 10 100 whatever milliseconds because this data is changing all the time which means that uh, we have to process it with our triggers uh, we need to store it in the database to visualize in the latest data because each time we receive a value it is something new but what if we are monitoring let's say this host where we also have specified uh, in our custom scripts that are utilizing the Zabbix sender uh, to send the values every 10 20 50 milliseconds what if the values are like this like three one 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 and so on until like after one hour next value might be eight so think about like in the perspective if we have thousands of such hosts and every value 
like this, the tree, it goes to the Zabbix server, Zabbix server has to process and analyze, does any trigger matches, are there any event correlations for this item, history sinker has to grab this value from the history cache, write it inside a database, and since we're talking about a milliseconds, and potentially we might be talking about hundreds and thousands of hundreds of items and hosts think about how much new values per seconds we would have but what about these items like okay we receive next one uh value one it still makes sense to send it to zabbix server for analyzing and let's say we processed all of our triggers and sent all the alerts if next value is one so does it really make to send this value and if next 10 or 20 values are identical as previously does it really make sense to send those to the zabbix server and sacrificing all the uh, performance power we have on our server with the values that actually not going to change anything and uh, the short answer is uh, no it's not and the greatest way how to solve this is exactly the pre-processing called throttling so let's uh, create small example to actually see how it works how it works i will delete all of my test uh hosts or no let's leave them as it is those are from previous video um so yeah you can check the previous one to check i don't actually remember a uh, proxy troubleshooting yeah so those are from the video about a proxy troubleshooting uh let's create a host called throttling and add it to some sort of group linux servers add so this host i will even filter it uh, by uh, my camera is falling apart there we go i can even filter it so we can see only this host and inside it i will create item which will uh, kind of work as uh, uh, for our zabbix sender item and i will call it zabbix sender uh, type for the zabbix sender is always should be zabbix trapper key will be let's say uh, I don't know, YouTube, uh, type of information numeric as it is, so that's it, and uh, yeah, let's let's add it as it is. Uh, then I will open my CLI, reload the Zabbix server config cache, so config cache reload, and right now I didn't have any pre-processing steps, so only an item, uh, and I can send a value with a Zabbix sender, minus Z, IP address of my Zabbix server minus s host name as it is case sensitive so throttling minus key YouTube and minus o value one processed one sent one and I can check in the latest data uh, filter by the host throttling so as we can see I can switch to 500 latest values I've sent one then I can send five and one 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 and so on so on let's say i've sent i'm sending these in a milliseconds apart which is heavily spamming my zabbix server so now let's add a throttling and to do that we need to go to our item uh, which we just created so zabbix sender pre-processing tab add a new pre-processing step and the one that we are looking for is uh, throttling and there are two options this card unchanged and this card unchanged with a heartbeat so let's start with the first one that's it no different parameters nothing to configure only pre-processing step from the throttling menu this card unchanged um, yeah clicking update and we should already have it on this item there it is so i will actually even uh, clear the history from our previous test so monitoring latest data uh, as you can see there is no data at all and now i will send again one i can send two uh and five and as soon as I am sending identical value as the previous one, uh, as soon as we are sending the previous value, like five again, it is five, 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 five. You can see I am not getting these values anymore. See? And if I will send something else, seven, 
I will get a value 7. Next 7, that's it. I am not getting a values. So basically the stuff that I showed you previously in the paint, so when we are receiving multiple values uh, in a row uh, with the same same value we are simply dropping and ignoring those and a second option with configuration hosts items Savix uh, sender pre-processing discard unchanged with a heartbeat so we here we have one additional parameter where we have to specify um, the parameters in the seconds so let's say 120 which means that even if I am sending again uh, same values like 10, I will uh, actually Zabbix server minus R config cache reload. Even if I'm sending same values, uh, it is still ignoring. So the last value is 10, 10. See, those are ignoring. But once per two minutes, this value, even if it will be identical, will go through my Zabbix server and will appear in the latest data. And why this is useful for the cases when we actually have uh, a triggers on these uh, throttling items. Why? Again, uh, because how it is working in the background. So uh, we have... Let's make it in multiple steps. Uh, send data, pre-processing, uh, cache, triggers, database. And this is working as we are sending the data, which is, this looks ugly, uh, which is going to the pre-processing like this, after the pre-processing, this data is written to the cache. From the cache, we are analyzing all the triggers. And after the triggers are analyzed, we are writing the data to the database. So if we have a throttling enabled, we send a value one. Uh, it goes here. And since, let's say previously, we already stored uh, the value one. So this one will be dropped and the triggers will not even be processed. So as example, if we have a no data trigger, uh, which will inform us when there will be no data for more than X amount of the time uh, that we specify in the parameters, then this trigger will actually fire, uh, despite the fact that we might be sending the values to our Zabbix server, but those values will be simply dropped by uh, pre-processing step called throttling. So this heartbeat is used for the cases when, let's say, we have uh, no data um, five minutes and pre-processing is uh, this card unchanged uh, with heartbeat and the heartbeat is, uh, let's say, two minutes. So even if we are sending same amount of the values so one 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 every two minutes even the value one will go through all the flow to the cache triggers no data will trigger tick again so count will start again from the five minutes and the data goes inside the database then again for the two minutes we will be ignoring them and after two minutes there will be a heartbeat so even identical value will again go through all the flow um, i think this video turned out like uh, more complex than uh, I initially thought it could be so uh, I will try another explanation so just simply discard unchanged right without a heartbeat um, zero 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 uh, value one zero zero one value uh, two is okay zero 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 two value two dropped 
right? Because we had value two before. If the next value will be again value two, it will be again dropped. If it will take uh, 10 minutes, it will still be dropped. If it will take 15 minutes, it will still be dropped. But if we have uh, this card, uh, let me make this bigger unchanged with uh, heart beat two minutes then uh, again zero zero value one good uh, zero zero five seconds value one dropped then we can make a couple of copy paste so let's say one minute oh five seconds uh, one minute 55 seconds it's still dropped and when it will take two minutes it will be sent and the next one again which might be 0201 if it is the same value it will be dropped right so this is a straightforward explanation without any uh, examples in the front and uh, just uh, just just written down so be careful with those no data triggers when you're using the throttling and uh, then don't don't hesitate to utilize it uh, with your high frequency monitoring. Thank you guys and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.